Welcome to Excel 2013 statistical video number 21. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a quick video here about SKU. Now, wait a second. We've already talked about SKU twice already, once when it came to histograms and once when it came to mean, median, and mode. So here's a histogram that shows some small values to the left. Here's a histogram that kind of looks bell-shaped. Here's a histogram that has some big values, just a few of them up on the right. So histograms help us see visually with a graphical method what the skew is. And when we talked about mean, median, and mode, we noticed that most of the time, if you have a skew to the left, the mean will be the smallest, then the median, then the mode. If it's bell-shaped, they're all going to tend to be exactly the same. And if it's got skew to the right or positive, the mean is going to be bigger than the median and mode. Now, this is to the right or positive because a few big values up here are going to tend to make the mean bigger than the median and mode. Over here, just a few small values are going to tend to pull the mean down away from the median and mode. Now we had our graphical method here, and we can kind of guess that the skew is negative and positive here with these numerical measures. But no way. We want an actual skew measure. And there it is. That is a big, messy formula. If we had to do it longhand, oh, forget it. That is just too difficult. But no way. There's a function, and luckily they called it skew. S KEW is the function we're going to use that does this formula. Here's one for the population. And notice the screen tip here returns the skewness of a distribution, a characterization of the degree of asymmetry of the distribution about its mean. If we think about it, this is symmetrical, right? If it's a bell shape, we draw a line down the middle, and it's the same on both sides. These are asymmetrical. Tab, we simply highlight our numbers. And that's a relative cell reference, Control-Enter. And as we suspected, we see a few small frequency columns down low. So our skewness measure is negative. If I copy this over here, SKU is looking down at this data set, which is bell-shaped. Hey, look at that. The skewness is 0. Up here, oh, there's a few really big values. We get a 1.6. So skewness as a numerical measure will help us gauge the shape of the distribution and the asymmetry. Zero, bell shape. Positive, skew to the right or positive. Negative, skew to the left or negative. Now let's go remind ourselves about some skew examples we've already seen in the class. I'm going to click on skew 3. Now if you hit the F9 key, I have this data randomizing. But let's look at this here. This is a distribution of tests. And for this particular class, there tended to be a bunch of pretty high scores and a few low scores. This would be skew to the left. Another example of skew to the left, if this was age and number of people dying, right? In the younger ages, there's just not many people dying. As you get above 50, 60, and 70, then the frequency of people dying would be in the higher category. So that would be an example of skew to the left. Skew to the right down here, if I hit F9, you know, if we're talking about house prices, Probably most of the houses in most neighborhoods are going to tend to be in the lower categories. And there's a few really expensive houses pulling the mean up. Not always the case, but certainly in many neighborhoods, that's skewed to the right or positive. Another example is department stores. You know, Up in the high dollar amount, only a few people are going to be buying all their furniture sets at a department store, whereas most of the people are going to make small purchases. So an example of skew to the right or positive. F9, an example of a bell shape or tendency towards bell shape would be human height or weights for bags of lettuce or cereal or SAT scores. So skew will be important throughout the class. 
All right, next video, we're going to talk about the amazing Z-score. All right, we'll see you next video.